day to you all, I'm Kinsmark, and this is Let's Play Wagner and the Third Light, Episode 1. An indie adventure game created for the Adventure Game Jam 2016, and I know little about it save that it's apparently some kind of investigative adventure, so let's check it out. I, uh, aha! There we are. Click start. Summer 1989. I came into the world in that year. All right. Ah! A classic point-and-click, except all the environment is fully rendered. All right, that's interesting. Hi there, flashy light. Let's see here. Uh, start with the desk. My old desk. Pure mahogany. Plywood. All right. Computer. All right, so there's a gear, I assume, for activating it, and a magnifying glass, I assume, for checking it. All right, let's see. Nah, I don't feel like using this. I'm actually scared of it. All right. Computers. Intimidating things. This is supposed to be the future. Uh-huh. All right. Floppy disks. There's nothing floppy about these disks, let me tell you that. But, uh, hey, hi, hi there. Uh, Ed... Hi, Mr. Wagner! Fucking hell, I almost had a heart attack. When did this guy get here? Alright. Um, actually, it took a second for me to actually, like, see that he was there, because I was checking out another corner of the screen, and so I hadn't seen that apparently a stick figure man called Ed has come into the room. Oh dear, not him. I freaking hate insurance guys. Alright, I think I'm gonna like, inspect things first prior to activating them, so I can kind of gauge his assessment of things and characters. All right, let's chat with him. Mr. Wagner, it's Ed from Fisherman's Widows, the insurance company. Yes, Ed, I know. Please call me Wagner. So, what can I do for you? I'm here about the Bolina. Tell me about the Paulina. The Bolina known to the bar manager and crew, was transporting goods from west to eastern Europe. Something happened that caused the ship to crash into the rocks on Friday night. Wow. Was this in the newspaper? I like that little piano flourish there. I see, I see. So, why did it crash? We're not sure, but we think the ship is faulty. We nearly got bankrupted by a similar case a few years ago, and this must not happen again. Alright. So... Some of this is scrolling past automatically. I can imagine. So you want me to find out what happened on Friday. And some of it I have to, like, click, so it's a little inconsistent. We want you to show that it was the ship at fault. All right. I should go in with an open mind. Yeah. You will go in the way we want you to. You are getting paid by us. Jeez. Kind of a sketchy start. This tone. I'm sorry, it's just, my job is also at risk. I can't figure it out. I don't have the local touch. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I have too much. Take the case, or don't take the case. Well, we wouldn't have much of a game if I didn't, so let's take the case then. By the way, you've only got today to figure it out. We're due to pay up tomorrow, and we don't want to. Could have clarified that prior to me accepting this. You know I take my sweet time. You're the only detective in the vicinity. You'll do fine. Phil is an amazing partner. Are you patronizing me? You do know I put the evidence in Phil. The hell kind of sentence is that? Sure. It's all me. Yep, so you'll take the case? Yep, I'm on it. Fantastic. I will see you tomorrow morning. All right. So some of this is, uh, like in the character dialogue, it's a little, like, janky. Some of it is a little, like, inorganic in the, the manner in which some of these characters are speaking. Um, all right, let's see here. Uh, mouse. A mouse! I mean, why would anyone touch something called a mouse? <laughs> I really don't feel like touching something named after a dirty rodent. All right, then. Lamp. His lamp has shown its light in so many cases. Alright. This this has a certain atmosphere to it, although it seems like, in the exception of some of the uh, the audio, like, flourishes with some of the music, 
uh, and I liked that charming piano there on the main menu. Um, it's a little, like, eerily silent in-game. Also, I should clarify, according to the description on this game's page, it was created in six days. So, while I may point out certain things that are lacking, I acknowledge as well that it's also very constrained in terms of the amount of time that the creator had to allocate to this or that. So, let's see here. Hmm, it doesn't do anything. Note to self, replace the light bulb. I have that issue myself with my desk. Alright. Pen. This I, I can check everything. This is my favorite pen of all time. So many memories. Signed my first and second divorce with you, pal. Uh, uh, an orphan or, I think that's unfortunately. I couldn't find you for the third one. Jeez. Alright, so this guy is just the cliched private eye sort of guy. Alright, let's see here. I don't need to sign anything at the moment. Okay. Colored paper. Who came up with the idea of colored paper? And more importantly, why? I mean, it isn't exactly a fancy new concept. Bills. Boring! So many bills. I really need to sort these out. If only a good case came along. I think one just strolled in the door. Phone. Oh, hey. There's actually like a speech option here. Alright, let's check this. I'm sure the phone is going to ring any minute now. The case of my life is coming. I can feel it. Alright. I don't need to call anyone at this point. Or at any point, really. Come on, phone ring. Okay, so <laughs> that was clicking the dialogue option at the phone, so I'm just talking to inanimate objects now. Alright, phone book. The area phone book, in two luxurious volumes. Jeez, how packed is this area? Old case file. The most important case of my life, the disappearance of the treasure of Sierra Madre. Alright then. <laughs> Old files. Old case files, mainly cheating wives and husbands. Yeah, that is the primary caseload of pretty much all private investigators. It's a sad life. I've actually met a few of those guys. I considered that as a potential job for me several years ago, and after checking into the actual realities of it, I was just like, nah, I ain't having that, not this guy, it ain't for me. Uh, let's see. I don't really need to go through these files. It depresses me. There hasn't been a proper murder case in over five years. Alright. Wait, organized mess? I really need to get someone to clean this mess. I mean, this organized mess! Alright. I shouldn't touch this. It has more cobwebs than my Aunt Mary's attic. Okay, so there are some grammatical issues. I'm essentially correcting the speech as I read it, such that I'm not actually pronouncing things. And yes, I am still <laughs> attesting to the the proper pronunciation of this character's name, so I'm pronouncing it with the Germanic V for Wagner as opposed to the W sound. So anyway, let's see here. Supernaturally durable plant. Okay. This plant really makes me wonder. I don't think I've watered it in over a month and it doesn't look like it's dying. Is it a plastic plant? Did you procure a fake plant and don't even remember? It probably needs watering, but, well, can't really be bothered. Because I have so much casework to do. Hello, plants! So yeah, I can just talk to things. Alright, elevator? No, I'm not activating that, because I think that'll make me leave. Photocopier, and I apologize that this is kind of dull, I'm just kind of checking out the environment, because it seems like a lot of attention to detail was given to this, so I want to check it out. I might actually stretch this into a few episodes if it seems like it needs it. This cost me a pretty penny, and it's been severely underused. I've often thought of photocopying my bum, but I've never done it. Screech! Come on now, Phil, you know I'm kidding. The hell is Phil? He said something about putting evidence in Phil. And I mean, other than some creepy... Like, I don't know, I don't know what this guy gets into in his personal time. Like, the implications there, I haven't any idea. Who the hell is... Where is Phil? I... Oh, case files? Mainly cheating wives. Alright, what's in the... Phil is a filing cabinet. My best pal, Phil. The stories we could tell. I'm done cleaning, Phil. May need to feed him soon, though. Alright. I, I have characterized... Like, is this character insane? Is Phil actually speaking to me, or am I just hearing him in my head? Alright. 
What's hanging, Phil? Not in the mood to talk, huh? Clearly I am insane. All right then. Having clarified that, I think I've checked pretty much everything except the fan. Is Freddy gonna come say hi? Since the ceiling fan stopped working, this has never left my desk. I don't feel all that hot right now. I'll wait until that big case comes along. In tray. This is where all my incoming mail goes. Shame that last letter I had arrived about four months ago. Jeez, this guy's on hard times. There's nothing of interest in this tray. All right, so I think it's time to click the elevator and head out. Come on, Phil, let's crack on with the case. All right. Uh, oh, is this like an actual overworld map? It is. All right, interesting. It's a little, uh, call it rough around the edges. Simplistic. All right, again, though, this was just made in a few days, so. Uh, that's the office. Go to Lighthouse, go to Shipwreck. Let's start at the shore, and then we'll make our way to sea. All right. I, I took Phil with me. Phil the filing cabinet. All right, my companion for life. Uh, that's actually a really gorgeous rendering, especially with all the seagulls and stuff around. Like, as silly as this is, it's kind of interesting. All right, so, huge tree! This tree is damn huge. I wonder if it blocks the light coming from the lighthouse. Clearly it isn't. The lighthouse is a lot taller. All right, I love this music. This is actually, like, really nice. Plants. I don't really know much about plants, but these do look and smell edible. Because <laughs> looking and smelling fine are exactly the sort of qualifying factors for edibility. Ooh, these smell nice. Let's take some with us. We can use them on pasta or something. All right, take it easy, pal. God, you are in a mood today. I... I can't tell if Phil is an actual character. All right, rocks. These damn rocks look sharp as knives. So I assume those are the kind that extend out into the sea. And path that affected the ship. A simple wooden path. We could have used something nicer for such an important building like the lighthouse. Eh, lighthouses are often uh, undervalued. Let's see. The lighthouse. Its light has guided so many sailors to safety. Just thinking about it makes me emotional. I mean, even in the late 80s, like, you know, proper computerized navigation systems were a pretty common thing, man. Lighthouses, as cool as they are, they aren't all that important anymore. And that's kind of a sad thing. Just from a romantic perspective. Uh, Phil, any input here? It sure is nice to be out and about, Phil. Just make sure you don't get mud on your wheels. I just finished cleaning you. Yeah, all right, then. Uh, lighthouse. Lighthouse entrance. All right, let's head in. I'm gonna check the lighthouse. Be right back, Phil. Oh, hey, the camera actually, like, shifts. This is cool. Especially considering the limited amount of time that was allotted to the development of this. I'm impressed. This It's very, like, cut and dry and simplistic, and yet at the same time, it's, it's core fundamentals in terms of, like, the audio design, especially now that I'm, like, out of the office. Um, it's actually pretty well crafted. I'd love to see something else that this creator has invested, you know, further time and, you know, assets into, because I see talent at work here. Let's see. Uh, rocks. Yeah, so that's the same as the other one. Lighthouse door. Let's see if Alyosha is here and what he has to say. Okay. Knock, knock. Is anyone home? All right, a little startling there. Alyosha, what do you want, Wagner? I'm busy. Always a charming, Alyosha. I was wondering if you knew anything about the ship accident that took place on Friday. No, no idea. The lighthouse was functioning properly, so I'm guessing there was something wrong with the ship. I'm just assuming that's some kind of, like, Eastern European name, so... <laughs> Look, Wagner, I need to get going. This place is a beast to maintain. Let me know if you need anything else. Alright. Clear enough. Is I can't tell if this is a game that I should spend additional episodes on, or if it's closing in on its end. Uh... Alright, let's exit here and check the ship. Uh, go to shipwreck. Because if I should spend additional time on this, I, I aim to. 
I'm just not entirely sure if it needs it. Let's see here. Phil? Oh, my dear pal, what would I do without you? Such a shame about the ship, right, Phil? Okay. Oni. Pretty interesting names. This is Oni, a very pretty girl who works at the Marmaid's Harp. Okay, a local pub. She always wears this strange brooch that looks like a goldfish. She looks really distressed. Okay, can I can I talk to her? Hi, Oni, it's me, Wagner. Is something the matter? I like this place. Reminds me home. Wagner, do I know you? You are Oni. You work at the bar, right? Didn't you have a gig on Friday night? We met a couple times. Oh, Wagner, yes, the private eye. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? How can I help you, Mr. Wagner? Let's see. Do you know anything about the shipwreck? I'll, I'll leave personal questions for later. I... No, I... Not really. I was working at the bar when it happened. I had my first gig. Okay. This bridge you're wearing. It looks familiar. Oh, this. It's a uh, family heirloom. It's... I'm sorry, I'd rather not talk about it. I'm sorry, Mr. Wagner. I, I cannot talk right now. I... Oni bursts into tears. Is something wrong? Can I help? I... I don't think so. It's... nothing. Are you sure? You know, I'm a PI. I can handle things. I can handle anything. It's Daphne, my friend. I think she's in trouble. I... I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't be here. If you want to help, come find me at the bar later. And she's gone. I think she likes me. What do you think, Phil? Disapproving silence. <laughs> I love that Phil's text is just angry red all the time. Okay, let's see here. I... I can't click on the C, apparently. Uh, shipwreck. Let's assess the situation. It really is a shame about the balena, right, Phil? It's a miracle that nobody died. I mean, it is close to shore, and it doesn't look like it sank. It just kind of capsized a little and got stuck in a rock, so... I mean, assuming that the, uh, the currents and undertow isn't all that severe, I mean, that's that's a shipwreck somebody could just swim away from. I just noticed there's, like, ships passing in the distance. Fishing boat. A large fishing boat is anchored near the lighthouse. I wonder why it didn't go to the port. I should check that. It seems suspicious. Island. The lighthouse island. It's not really an island, but everyone calls it that. Go figure. Alright, then... See anything different about the lighthouse? This lighthouse has been operated by Alyosha and Ivan's family since we were children. See, I called it! Definitely some kind of Slavic family. Alright. Uh, can I click on that ship that's passing in the distance? No. Alright then. Uh, Phil, any other input here? I assume that's a negatory. Alright. Uh, oh, hey. Mermaid's Harp. Alright. Kind of a cool place. Phil, how are you? Man, you really shine today. Hey, Phil, fancy a pint? I, am I just gonna, like, pour it in a drawer? And it's just gonna come leaking out of him and I'll just call that he can't hold his liquor? Is that, like... I, I'm reading far too deeply into this. Use table. Hmm, this looks like it's been used recently. I mean, it's almost like it's a pub. Hello? Hello? Is anyone here? I guess we'll have to come back later. A table. Someone has already cleaned these up. I heard the pub has been quite busy recently. Lanterns. These really do create a nice atmosphere when lit. I like paper lanterns. I am a fan of them. Let's see. Uh, just pub. Did you know this used to be the house of an old seam? I, I assume that's meant to say seaman. Apparently, he was a legend in his own time. And then, under some very bizarre circumstances, his ship... Shank. It's, it's an alternate phrase for sank. It's, it's when someone knifes the ship, and they just shank it, and the hole leaks, and you get the point. Uh, let's see. I love me a cold beverage. Shame the pub is closed. Come on now, we are on duty. These are active working hours. Can't drink on working hours. Thought I was a professional. Alright. Uh, is there anything else? I assume it's just these colored shapes. Um, hmm. Hang on. Let's check Alyosha again. Lighthouse entrance. 
and because I'm curious if I've interacted with other characters if maybe some of the dialogue changes so let's see here uh, no this seems same as it was so all right um since she said come to the pub later maybe if I head to the office there's something I can activate to pass time and the you know interactability will change let's see uh, can I like file the case investigation so far into Phil um, let's see here okay computer that flickering light seems eerie to me uh, this is all the same as the first instance in here so is there like a clock I can activate hmm I feel as though I am missing something so hang on it looks like there's from here a little more to the area around the lighthouse maybe if I head there there's some other area of the screen I can click to like shift the camera around to see like where those like shacks and things are so let me let me see that real fast there's ooh, ooh, wait wait hold up what was that oh that's just a huge tree all right uh-huh yeah it's it's huge so hmm. aha all right i found a thing i haven't clicked on prior so let's check the stage here at the pub I've always dreamt of becoming a rock star. Did you know I was in a band back in the 60s, Phil? Ah, those were the days, my friend. Alright, I had hoped for something a little more informative and insightful and story progressing. Uh, hmm. This was moving along at a pretty, uh, decent pace until now. I can't tell if this is just, like, the end? and it just isn't finished yet, like episode one is just setting the stage and perhaps another installment that they said they uh, might create for the Adventure Game Jam next year is just gonna continue the story from here. It, I'm like, if so, this is hardly even a prologue. Again, I, like, I know this was just made in a few days, it just, there isn't any apparent completion state here. I, I, I honestly feel as though I am missing something. So, just a little clarification as to whether this is it. Like, if this is all of it, it is just, it's all I ask. Because I like this so far, and as essentially like a demo, as a proof of concept, I like everything I've seen. I just, I want to make sure I'm not missing something. Because... I applaud all the, you know, the charm and its grammatical issues aside. Uh, even the the character dialogue and all the first person interpretations that I can't click on that door of you know the characters uh, you know input about everything in the environment um, it's it's a cl <clears throat> pardon me clever sense of you know introduction to the environment because I suspect he's an unreliable narrator and that either this is incredibly silly and I'm taking it a little too seriously or um, the character is actually slightly insane, and so all of the things that we as the player seeing through his eyes, you know, are perceiving is therefore very likely coming through the filter of his flawed interpretation of everything. So, hmm. I can't tell. I honestly cannot tell. So, I think... I'll leave this episode here because I just can't find... Ooh, wait, hang on. Visitor's chairs. A couple of good quality chairs for my esteemed, aka infrequent, clientele. Alright. Why would I sit there? I have a perfectly comfortable chair here. Ugh, man. Okay. Um, I apologize if there was an awkward cut a few minutes ago because I had intended to end the episode there because I thought there was a little more to the story that I could continue in another episode. 
I just I can't find a means of progression here. So um, I'll check with the creator if I can get in touch with them um, and like uh, skim through some of the comments on this game's Game Jolt page and see if some other people are having this same sort of you know sudden screeching halts in the story. And if there is more, I'll pick it up again in another episode. If there isn't, consider this a charmed first impression of the kinds of games that this creator uh, or creators, I, I can't say I know for certain uh, how many people worked on this, uh, ability to craft an interesting environment. Uh, again, the attention to detail um, and to the modeling. I, like, I, I recognize all of this is fairly low poly and simplistic. This environment though, like this looks like a lived in, worked in sort of space. And uh, you know, the audio design, limited though it is, it fits the mood of the game. And uh, if one could just clean up some of the character dialogue and uh, some of the narration lines in terms of um, you know, like grammatical errors and such, which is just a simple fix, um, this would actually have a pretty clean presentation. It, it seems like, again, there is talent and skill at work in the creation of this. I just wish that there were more to it. And that's is, it's a good problem to have because it means I'm not, you know, just feeling like it's dull and like I just want it to end. Like I want more. And, uh, you know, I consider that a good thing, especially with these little free indie games uh, that are more or less just showcases of the creator's abilities and talents. And again, it, it, that's clearly at work here. So, um, comments check this out for yourselves i'll leave a download link to this game in the description of this video um check it out and play it if y'all can find a way to progress farther than i have please let me know and i'll feature this again so i'm kinsmark here at less press thank y'all kind of for watching as always i wish you all good game and godspeed oh Okay, uh, is that a thing I should concern about? Yeah, it's, uh, 